right guys let's do this it's time for another unboxing vintage a library subscription box from archer and olive super excited about it because it's gonna be like all vintagey and book related and library related and i love books and libraries I used to hang out in them all the freaking time so poof poofy and let's get into it so i'll be a lot cuter but it's super hot and muggy and like rainy and disgusting outside and i really want to open up this box so i'm just like who cares we're gonna work with what we got so box pretty vintage get this uh, plastic off of it like Medea always says and i always agree with rip it rip the box rip the box rip it rip it rip it rip it all right on the floor whatever it's so beautiful and look the borders have like these cool little books and I've been collecting the boxes and it looks so pretty and it's gonna be so nice with all my other boxes. All right, so let's get into opening this bad boy, which, oh my God, issue. It's stuck again with the glue. All right, I need oh, handy dandy exacto knife. What worked last time, we just Find a little opening, a little crevice, and you just wiggle it a little bit in. Bam, there we go. Maybe not so easy this time. Let's do this. All right, come on. I found you. Found your little opening. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's smooth. like butter something's on undercover i always mess up my exacto knives with this because of the glue but just have like a box opening one i think they have special ones called box cutters so anyway let's get into this ah, beautiful i just want you to know you're my favorite stationery all right so enough with the dilly dallying let's get to that freaking opening Cute little postcard, stationary box. Create something, write in general, prioritize yourself, breathe deeply, turn over for spoilers. Okay. And set aside to be surprised. Okay. So, yep, that's what it says. It's cute. I'm going to be putting it somewhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> opening, opening. Let's do Archer and Archer. Archer and Archer. Pfft. Archer and Olive Clicker. What is it? Kaleographs. I can never freaking say it. I'm going to say kilographs. Kaleographs. Kale That's what they are called. And handy dandy exacto knife because these stickers are going to be annoying. Boop. And I already have a set of them. So it's going to be so nice to add these to my set. And I have like lighter colors. And. Ooh. Oh, these are so pretty. Brown, blue, yellow, orange very nice i'm gonna be excited to use them oh i guess for those of you who are new the calliographs have big tip and a little tip a little nib we don't discriminate discriminate what is wrong with me today excuse me discriminate against tip size because it's not the size it's how you use it for pens only Next is, ooh, this is so exciting. So you know how like when you used to go to the library back in the days, back in the 90s, and you used to get like a stamp or when like your library book was supposed to be returned and everything? I always wanted to play with those stamps. And now I get to, oh! How do you switch these things? All right, so they rotate, they have different dates, oh. All right, so dummy, they have like these little rotator thingies, so you don't have to like pull on this like you used to have to do back in the days. This is advanced. Look at that. I got different years. Blank. 
Oh, dang, it goes up to what? A 20, 32. So this is gonna be good for a good nine years. Oh, no, 33. All right, so this will last you a good 10 years. I love that. And it comes with a little stamp, so. Can't wait to try this. Oh, this for your aesthetic viewing pleasures. I shall be using these. I'm dying to get some cool clips all vintage looking -y to make my layouts more photo appealing. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm so excited about that. Then I have a little memo pad. I love memo pads. Just write down like little random thoughts, little random to, to do things. Sometimes I get little things that like just rhyme in my head. I'm like, oh my God, that would be great for like a children's book. But one day, one day I will write. Uh, but till then, everything goes on a little notepad or bullet journal. That's why I have so many. So let's check these out. I should probably like open them beforehand just so it can be easier to open for the viewers. Okay, so we have this little notebook it's so cute oh the papers are different colors look at that you got pink and you got yellow and you got like a lavendery bluey purpley oh so cute decent stuff you make a to-do list out of it decorative tape oh yeah Decorative tape is so nice. A little washi tape. So these look like little stamps. Oh, I can't take one out. Oh, stickers. Stamp thingies. Stars. And you have like these book binding ones. And then these are so pretty. Boop, boop. Boop. All right, so then we have book and typewriter stickers. And let's check these out. Oh, so cute. Comes with different sets of ABCs and one, two, threes. So if you don't have the best penmanship in life, you can just use stickers to create your layouts if you want to be all perfectionist about it and stuff like that. So these are going to be super excited. I'm going to make a little cards out of them. Hmm. We'll see. Time for the notebooks. Last things left. Notebooks, notebooks, notebooks. Notebooks, notebooks, notebooks. Ooh. Um, excuse me. Archer and Olive. Where is the picture? Oh, not to open it, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'll open it. Probably gonna keep it anyway. I usually always say like, oh, maybe I'll give this one away as a present, and then when it's like time, so like, all right, so which one is gonna be a good present? No, but I like this one. No, but I like this one too. I'm gonna use it in the future. And I wind up just keeping all of them. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Like my collection is never complete. So let's check this one out. And ooh, this is interesting little box. How do I open? Oh, I need to really learn how to figure out boxes. Like this is just ridiculous. But anyway, magnetize and be an amazing storage box after I use the notebook. This is so difficult. There we go. Boop. Definitely gonna be a storage box for my pens. Definitely. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm keeping this one. Oh, wow. Oh, check out that shiny. That's embossed and engraved. What? No, it's embossing. That's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look at this pattern. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this book for something. Maybe I actually will start, like, a book review journal keep tabs of all my literature <laughs> so yeah got that one this one's definitely keeping and oh, 
last but not least, I've slipped my phone, it's okay. More stabbing. Ugh. Last but not least, oh, these are so adorable. And they remind me of like those old school vintage books, like seriously from the library. It comes in like a little bookcase so either way you place it if you don't want it to get dusty it will still look like books if you want to use them all the time put it like this it'll still look like books so cute Ooh, they're thick yes girl yes queen i love me a thick notebook that way it lasts long Ooh, i wonder what i'm gonna use these for i don't know yet but i'm so excited Ooh, oh if you can feel this there's there's a difference in the feel. The, these feel very nice. Ooh, and this one too, look at that. It's got like an engravings in there. And this one's like a leathery. This one's like a canvasy one, so. They're very nice to rub on your face. <sighs> Smell just like new books. And if you know, you know, like that's the book lovers like flag right there like catnip excuse me that's a little too harsh it's like catnip there you go all right so guys this is the official box let me see if i could put this in i'm gonna try to hold up as many things as possible uh, bloop 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 don't mind my stomach just a little baby weight that means um pens and binder clips beautiful more washing and notebooks oh all of this stuff i'm just so excited to use can't wait to try it out and my new jabrilla journal layouts and hope you get you some because girls guys you know whoever's you identify with as now treat yourselves you know definitely journaling is my ultimate way of getting you know right mentally like whatever issues you have write it down whatever's bothering you write it down if you're happy write it down so that you can remember this forever i always say write shit down and now i'm gonna be writing so much more so i hope you enjoyed guys and stay tuned for more stuff